All day long, the WBZ team has been spotlighting Mental Health Action Day. Tonight, we're talking about high school students who are under more pressure than ever before. Paula Eben shows us why more administrators are talking about mental health days for our kids. Family, friends, sports, kind of just mixed into one. Hours of activities, homework, and cramming for tests. Sports practices and games. So you get the prom back yeah. and extracurricular activities. Many high school students keep grueling schedules. Balancing them all sometimes can be way too much. I know, as I've seen with friends and myself, if you feel all this overwhelming stress, especially as a senior applying to college, doing all these extracurriculars, doing AP classes, it does get to be a lot. And I know a lot of kids experience something called burnout. That's why these Taunton High School students support a bill that would allow excused absences for mental health days. What do you think of that whole idea? I think it's honestly an amazing idea. Up until now, to get an excused absence if a student asks for a sick day, parents and students have to provide a doctor's note. This bill would account for two mental health days a year, no doctor's note required. The bill is even more important now because our children have experienced the ravages of the pandemic, if you will, in terms of their education and their mental health needs. This was an idea from before the pandemic, but the last few years, what have you seen in terms of student mental health? We've seen a definite uptick in mental health care uh, issues. The anxiety from children is higher than I've seen before in my 26 years in education. Principal Scott Holcomb disagrees with any critics of the bill who claim that students have already missed too much classroom time. Because if you're anxious, it's more difficult to learn. I believe it would also help them perform better in school because once you take that mental health break, you come back feeling more productive the next day. Senior Araceli Aliseo believes passing the bill will also raise awareness and get students talking about the importance of taking care of their own mental health. And especially it helps like rid the stigma of like, oh, if you're staying home, you're lazy, or oh, if you need a day off, you're just quitting. But I think everyone kind of needs a break. We need to listen to the voices of young people. That's where I think the important information comes in terms of what young people need post-pandemic. As a former teacher and guidance counselor herself, Representative Doherty believes her bill would motivate guidance counselors to follow up with students who take a mental health day. She says the bill is in study right now. She plans to reintroduce it in the next session, and she says she'll push for it. In Boston, Paula Eben, WBZ News. Well, in